Many law enforcement agencies across the nation are experiencing a significant issue right now, and that is staffing shortages. Triad departments are no exception. WXII 12's Louis Tran spoke with the Randolph County Sheriff's Office about the challenges it faces and joins us in the studio live now. Louis. Randolph County Captain tells me that he's never seen a staffing shortage like this before, and many deputies are feeling it. As far as my career, it's probably the worst I've seen it in my career. Randolph County Captain Jeff Cook and his team are facing an issue that's affecting all of their deputies. Law enforcement right now is in the whole is, is suffering with employment and keeping keeping people in. Lieutenant Adam Hicks has seen the impact on the nationwide staffing shortage. He says many law enforcement agencies are competing for a limited number of candidates. To keep the agency running, many deputies are volunteering to work more shifts. Due to short staff, we actually have to offer overtime and bring extra deputies in on their days off in order to, to have enough people to safely operate and to answer the calls. While the extra pay can help deputies, the impact on the longer shifts can also take a toll. But it does burn you out. When you work 12 hours on your regular shift and you're off the next day, but you come in and work another 12 hours and you just call the shift is short, it's taking a toll on your mind and your body and also your home life. But to help with the burnout, deputies are faced with the biggest challenge recruiting more people into law enforcement. I mean, it's, it's hard to convince people to get into, get into it. And that's just been the biggest challenge we've had is, is either convincing them to come to us or just convincing them to get into this job. Now, Captain Cook tells me that the sheriff is trying to increase the pay for deputies in hopes that this can help attract more candidates. I also asked if the shortage has affected the response times. Lieutenant Hicks says that they're still answering all calls and the response times have been consistent as well. In studio, I'm Louis Tran, WXII 12 News.